Hello guys, welcome to Chemistryfied. In this video, I am going to explain you about immobilized enzyme. So, let's start. An immobilized enzyme is that which is attached to or enclosed in insoluble support medium that is carrier or one where enzyme molecule are cross linked to each other without any loss of catalytic activity. So let us understand it with the help of schematic representation. So ये मेरा enzyme है और ये directly attach हो गया है insoluble support medium से So इस condition में इसे हम immobilized enzyme कहेंगे या फिर enzyme इंट्रैप हो जाए इनसॉल्यूबल सपोर्ट मीडियम में यानी हमारे कैरियर में उसमें भी हम उसको इमोबलाइज इंजाइम कहेंगे थर्ड कंडीशन होती है इंजाइम जब एक दूसरे के साथ क्रॉस लिंकिंग शो करें तो उसको भी हम इमोबलाइज इंजाइम कहते हैं फर्स्ट इमोबलाइज इंजाइम वॉज प्रिपेयर इन नाइनटीन सिक्सटीन बाय नेल्सन एंड ग्रिफिन हु शो दैट Invertase can be absorbed on activated charcoal without any change in enzymatic activity. So, our first immobilized enzyme, Nelson or Griffin, ne prepared in 1916. Mein. Unho ne show kiya ke invertase easily absorb ho jata hai activated charcoal par. Aur ye apni enzymatic activity, yani apni catalytic activity ko bhi nahi lose karta hai. Following types of forces are responsible for immobilization. These are Van der Waal forces and hydrogen bonding, ionic bonding and covalent bonding. So let us read. First, Van der Waal forces and hydrogen bonding may be established between enzyme and carrier. They have very little effect on catalytic activity. As these bonds are weak, enzyme can easily be made free by change in pH, ionic concentration or substrate concentration. So, enzyme or carrier ke beech mein Van der Waal forces or hydrogen bonding easily establish ho jati hai. Ye weak forces hote hai, is liye ye catalytic activity par effect nahi daalte hai zyada. Aur humara enzyme bhi easily free ho jata hai humare carrier mein se agar hum uska pH ko change kar dhe, uski ionic strength ko change kar dhe ya phir uske substrate concentration ko change kar dhe. Second, ionic bonding. Ionic bonding may also be involved in binding of enzyme to support medium. So, enzyme jab apne carrier se bind karta hai, to usme ionic bonding bhi show hoti hai. Third, covalent bonding. Covalent bonding provide more permanent binding between enzyme and support medium. So, Covalent bonding सबसे ज़्यादा permanent binding show करते हैं जब enzyme और support medium एक दूसरे के साथ bond establish करते हैं. Now let us see the example of enzyme immobilization. So our first example is when coupling of para amino benzyl cellulose takes place in the presence of Na, NO2 and HCl, it will give us diazonium derivative then on further reaction with enzyme it will give us immobilized enzyme our second example is of polyamino polystyrene it will react with cocl2 to give us isocyanate derivative which on further reaction with enzyme will give us the immobilized enzyme our third example is of Bromoacetyl cellulose, which directly react with enzyme to give us the immobilized enzyme. So, guys, please do like and subscribe my YouTube channel. Thank you.